Hey, this is CG Dive. A while ago, Sense Labs contacted me and asked me to review their pen tablet medium bundle. And I agreed, even though I honestly don't use a pen tablet all that much. And so it took me a while to get around to doing this review, but here it is. I did get the medium bundle sent to me free of charge. But other than that, I'm not sponsored by Sense Labs. This is not an advert, just my honest opinion. So again, I want to reiterate that I am not someone who uses a pen tablet day in and day out. I used to practice digital sculpture some years ago and I did use a tablet every day at that time. But the work I've been doing lately can be done perfectly well with a simple mouse. Nevertheless, I do use a pen tablet occasionally and it is an important tool for most digital artists. It's absolutely essential for digital drawing and painting. Casual 3D sculpting can be done with a mouse, but a graphics tablet will greatly improve your sculpting experience. In a nutshell, if the quality of your work depends on precise and natural brush strokes and lines, then you want to use a tablet. In other areas, such as photo editing and general 3D work, you may hear different opinions. Some people like working with a tablet and some don't. Personally, I would never use a tablet for 3D modeling, but I know other 3D artists who are very efficient with the stylus. So here's me trying to film the unboxing of the tablet. Uh, it's not as slick as other professional reviewers, I know, but here is what you get. You get a tablet itself, of course. Uh, there are two pens, a heavier one with three buttons on the side, and a slimmer one without any buttons. You also get replacement tips for the pens. I'm not sure if each of these tips have any special properties. I think they're just meant as a replacement. The little USB-like things are used to create a wireless connection between the tablet and your PC. I always use the tablet plugged through the cable, so I can't tell you how good the wireless connection is, but I heard good things from other reviewers. This additional controller is optional, but it lets you specify and customize shortcuts so that you don't have to use your keyboard while painting. One of the problems when using a tablet is that occasionally you have to reach for the keyboard, which can take you out of your focused work. So this device can be placed anywhere you like, and it is meant to reduce the need of using the keyboard so that you can focus on your work without tying your arms into a knot. A finger glove is also included. I never used one myself, to be honest, but it is supposed to keep your tablet clean and responsive. And finally, there is a soft case where you can store the tablet, pens and quick keys device. This is nice if you need to move the whole set of devices around, such as when working outside of your home or office. Once you plug the tablet into the USB drive of your PC, it should be ready for use. But if you want to get the best compatibility with your system and fine tune the tablet, then I recommend downloading the official tablet drivers. Driver download instructions are included in the bundle, but personally I just googled SenseLab drivers download and downloaded the Windows drivers. Mac and Linux drivers are also available, but I'm not familiar with them. Then you can install the driver and you should see the screen. So it's not just a driver, but a complete control panel for your tablet that gives you a lot of customization options. You can set up the tablet settings. This includes changing the color of the corner lights, which is mostly a visual thing, but you can make the color change depending on the active application. You can also assign functions to the three buttons at the top of the tablet. You can also customize the behavior of the pens. In the case of the larger pen, there are three additional buttons that you can assign functions to. The thin pen does not have any buttons, but I actually prefer working with it since it is light and comfortable. It is great for casual work. My quick keys is where you specify what functions the additional controller can perform. Here you can really go nuts and add as many as 40 custom shortcuts. The wheel is also customizable and you can switch between four different modes by pressing the button inside the wheel. And again, all of this can be set up differently for separate applications. If you have two monitors, it's a good idea to define your active monitor in the preference section. Otherwise, you may not be using the surface of the tablet efficiently. 
Now, do you need a tablet and do you need the Sense Labs tablet in particular? I think we already established who needs a tablet. If you do digital drawing, painting, concept art, and so on, then you definitely want to use a pen tablet. It is also recommended for 3D sculptors. And in other creative areas, you may or may not like the experience of using a tablet versus a mouse. It's a matter of personal preference. But what about the Sense Labs tablet in particular? It is not a cheap product and it's certainly not an entry tablet for everyone. In the tablet world, the undisputed leader is Wacom. They offer the most advanced features and fidelity at a higher price. Traditionally, all Wacom competitors just try to be a cheaper alternative. But as far as I understand, that is not what SenseLab is trying to do. They are trying to be a high quality alternative to Wacom tablets. In fact, I heard that some of the developers at SenseLabs are former Wacom developers who split off to do their own thing. I'm not sure if that's true, uh, it's just what I heard. So if you're a casual tablet, user, you may not need a SenseLab tablet. As a casual user myself, the main thing that I want from a tablet is a basic pressure sensitivity. This creates a thicker or stronger line when you press the stylus hard against the tablet and a fine line when you press lightly. And that allows for a natural and intuitive painting and sculpting experience. But even cheaper tablets should have this feature. The pressure sensitivity may not be as fine. Uh, SenseLab supposedly offers over 8,000 levels of pressure, which I think is comparable with high-end Wacom tablets. So if you're a serious painter or a concept artist, this may be important to you and SenseLab may be the right choice for you. But casual users may never notice the difference between that and a cheaper product with less sensitivity. This is my quick review of the SenseLabs Medium Bundle. I really enjoy using it, I think it's great, and I would use it heavily if I get into digital sculpting again. I hope this video helps you decide if this tablet is right for you. If the video was useful, please click like and subscribe. Thank you and I hope you tune in for another CGDI video.